We just need to, um, you know, just ignore all the noise and everybody on the outside speaking. You know, last game was what it was. Uh, we have to do better and we will do better. But we just uh, focus on moving forward and um, she's going to play hard and together as a defense to get that bad taste out of our mouth. <clears throat> Yeah. Uh, I mean, it just didn't work out. You saw it. We saw it. It just didn't work out. Um, we just got to do better. It's that simple. There's no excuse for it. It was not acceptable, not up to our standard of our potential. Uh -huh. And we just have to do better. And you got damn right about period. that. <clears throat> what are the keys to defending the outside zone run? Obviously, something that the Browns ran a lot of on Sunday and also something that you guys probably could expect the Giants to do as well on Sunday? Uh, I would think the keys is setting hard edges and getting penetration. And, um, yeah, I mean, if they do it, they do it. We'll just do the best job we can to stop it. Mm -hmm. well, what are the areas that specifically you think you guys can improve on? And on? I mean, when, when you got a performance like last week, we need to – uh, we need to improve on everything. So, hey, can, can a brother get an amen on that? Hard and just you know, we watch the tape. We're gonna learn from it, and we're gonna continue to push for it. Brother, amen. Going against the Jason Garrett offense, yeah. how similar is what you see on film this week to what you practice against for years? And does that help at all in game planning? Um, it's very similar. Uh, the old line mm -hmm. coach Colombo, we know him well. Mm -hmm. And it's very similar. I mean, we practice. I practice against it for two years here, and um, you know, it's really just another game. I don't really focus on Coach Garrett. Um, I mean, that's the obvious, but at the end of the day, we just have to, you know, play against the Giants. Is, is that a hot doing. boy's hat? Is that is that a hot what boy's hat? Mm -hmm. like Nolan on, uh, Monday. What up, Shay? How you I doing? Mean, what you think the mood is? You know, we had a. <laughs> A terrible performance. So, you know, the meeting on Monday was what you expected it to be. So we got to get our stuff together, and it's unacceptable. And we got to obviously do do things different or just <laughs> figure out how to do our jobs better. Mm -hmm. And that's just point blank, period. Point blank, period. I'm surprised that you that here we are in the fourth week of the year, and you're still going through whether it's communication issues, team issues, or whatever, that, that you're still going through that. Um... I don't know of no communication issues or whatever you just ask. All I know is all we need to do is just get the job done and play football. It's, it's that simple. There's no scientist, no science to it. We just need to play how we are capable of playing, and then y'all will stop asking me questions about that. <laughs> he getting tested. Um, it's really easy, honestly. Um, I did it once in high school, so mm -hmm. you know I kind of always back. every you know every place I've been, you know. Oh, you know, Randy, me, Randy, like, talking kinda, about more know, soft babies, to, damn. You know, Coach Kellen, man, you know, putting it in his ear, but it was kind of cool. They finally did it, and you know, I just wait for it when they need me, and I just you know do what Coach say. What does Zeke say to you after a play like that is successful? You said who, Zeke? I mean, it's kind of cool, you know, and we all know how great Zeke is and how many touchdowns he scores. So the fact that I get the lead block for him sometimes, it'd be kind of cool, you know, <laughs> uh, that I get to do that, you know, position in that role. So I, I bet Zeke says that he calls him eclipse for that big ass because he's blocking out the sun. On <laughs> me playing nose tackle and me, you know, playing better at nose tackle. So you know, I, have you had enough of this, Zeke? Football is fun and, you know, I love doing it. I'm going to continue doing it whenever uh -huh. they call me, but all right, I need to play nose tackle better. There you go. I, I can't I can't hear injuries. you. Huh? Injuries from linebackers to corners. Uh injuries is a part of the game. I had a few last year. It's 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 the NFL. It's that simple. Injuries happen, mm -hmm. bad luck things happen, it's injuries, it's the NFL. It's it next man up. Somebody gotta step up and do the job. We get paid to do a job and it's that simple. Amen on that one. What
Let me change back to this camera. Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here with my buddy Cowboy Joe Boo, who's got his game Halloween face on, as well as Joe Bear in the house. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, this literally does not work. I, I want to I want to say something here before we really get started in, in with the show. Uh, in fact, I, I want I want to change up on the camera here. Let, let me take this headphones off because I want you to know that I'm serious right now because I am sick and tired yeah. of all these cry baby ass fans oh. that literally, literally expect everything to be perfect because I tell you what, I am glad that we are not going through some real shit because most of you couldn't make it through it. Mm. You don't understand adversity. You don't understand bad times. You expect, say, I, I think it's something wrong with the younger generation that you expect everything to be handed to you on a perfect platter. Mark well, I'm here society. to tell you something right now, brother. I am here to tell you that life isn't that way. And until you can man up and accept and get better, you're going to forever be a little whiny bitch. Oh. Now, understand. When the Cowboys turn this ship around, mm. I don't want you guys that are saying this team sucks. I'm done. I'm out of here. Man, I, you know, forget the Cowboys. Don't bring your ass back up in here. Mm. Don't bring it back up in here because I'm sick and tired of you guys. Yes, our team has some problems. Mm -hmm. But guess what? A lot of teams have problems. Mm -hmm. You don't think mm -hmm. we had problems in 2018? Because I said the same shit mm -hmm. in 2018 to your namdy pamdies in there oh. that were like, oh, I'm done. This team sucks. Fire everyone. Including Troy Aikman. Including Troy Aikman. Mm -hmm. Okay? Give it some time. Because all y'all are wasting all this effort, all this energy and everything else. Why don't you focus in on one game? Let's look at this thing and say, okay, we have played like crap. We've had a historically bad defense. We have fumbled the ball. We have had a lot of injuries. And guess what? We've been playing some of the top teams in the NFL. And guess what? With everything going freaking wrong, we are still in the games. Mm -hmm. That tells me that we're not that far off. So if you don't like me being positive and looking for the positive, take your negative happy ass the F out. Oh. Okay? Yeah. So let me start the show off with that. Mm. That was powerful. Because, see, I've been through some shit in my life. I've been through hard times, okay? I've stole cable from the next door neighbor's house. Mm. I've had an extension cord bringing power over so I had the lights on because I've been broke ass. Mm. I understand hard times. But if you believe, Mike J. I've been through hard times. But without the hard times, understand you don't know what the good times are because it makes you appreciate when things turn around. Yeah. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm sorry if I offended anybody with the harsh language, mm. but let's get this party started up in here. They're going to learn First thing, I thought we retired hot boys. D -d didn't we retire hot boys? Did, 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 well, well, he's still wearing. He, he's still wearing hot boys. Well, apparently, he's still calling it hot. Well, boy. you know that's that thing where you know you so go back to what you used to. So let's get over for business. To. The football guys are already awake. Okay, so we we got a few new tricks in here, and and actually, look, we got, we got an old trick too. E two blue, how you doing tonight, man? Did you just call me an old trick? Yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> What? Call me an old what? trick. Uh oh, uh oh. I see. Did I, did I see Miss Miss Jackie up in here? Speaking of ladies night, Mark. What's that? Um, you got to come up with the name for the ladies for the uh, channel. Up oh, there's Miss Anita too. Uh oh. People's Aguilar. People's Aguilar. COVID survivor. What's up, peoples? Um. We've got some new stuff. Did we see? Did I see? Who did I see? I know I saw. Did I see Coco? 
Who does see? Tay Cowboys. There we go. Uh oh. We got it. We got to listen. I know the fellas are like, why are you doing all that? Because we have lovely ladies in the house. See, a oh. lot of you guys get up in here. Up the Miss Anita. Okay. All right. So so what is the name that we're coming up? Oh, Shay. That was it. Shay, 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 Shay. Uh oh. And Karen. And Karen. Hey, what's up? All right. So, so we, we have to acknowledge the wonderful, knowledgeable ladies that are in the house, okay? Because it's ladies' night. And I, I, oh, the tr- Crystal May, too. I can't forget Crystal. Oh, oh, All right. So, okay. All right. So, we got. How did, you doing, Shay? Did, did, I, did I forget any? Did, did I forget any? Oh, Karen, Karen. We get Karen, too. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. I know you guys are like, well, why are you doing all that? Or you understand what want to say? Why are you going to block me and stuff? Because we have some ladies. Hey, Joy17. Uh oh. <laughs> I just started some stuff, didn't I? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, I got you, ladies. Crystal. I got you. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. You got to hit him with the ladies. Oh, it's Joe, Joe Garcia. Uh, is that? It's Joe? I can't tell. I can't tell. Okay, just in case. Okay, I can't see. It's too far away, and my glasses are dirty, but just in case. All right, I got to acknowledge all the wonderful ladies, because I'm going to tell you, a lot of the ladies in here know more about football than some of you guys oh. that, that actually pretend that you think that you know football. That you know, is, you know what ticked me off? You know what ticks me off here? What's that? Is people who don't know football, they'll go through, and the first thing they'll say, trade D-Law. Let's get you know. Let's get a number one pick for D'Lo. They don't understand the business side. Of I'm like, how you think that somebody's going to trade for somebody that's owed uh, seventy nine million dollars over the next three years? Because and they think this is fantasy football. I, I swear, you know. Oh, Tyron Smith, trade him. How, how you going? Got man's getting surgery. How you think you're going to trade him? Jesse Nooks, what's up? What's up, Jesse? James Nooks, the Gooch. <laughs> The Gooch. What the hell was the show was that? The Gooch, the Gooch, the Gooch. I don't think that was a show. No, it was a guy who was the Gooch. Was that with Steve Urkel? The Gooch? It was always, he was the bully. What was the, it was the bully was the Gooch. Definitely. Or was that, what you talking about, Arnold? Or, yeah, or what, or, yeah I think yeah, that, Willis? Willis. What you talking about, Willis? That was the Gooch. The Gooch was the bad guy on there. You're not the bad guy, are you? No, but Joe, I'm a good listen, guy. we've got so many people. Oh, let's trade Michael Gallup and get some defensive talent. I'm like, oh my god! It's like, oh my god! Uh, it's like, okay, we could have. Okay, here, here's here's the craziness. Okay, Seattle traded for Jamal Adams, right? They gave up what two number ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at let's say Chicago Bears. Crystal May says she loves the music. Okay, more. let's take the Chicago Bears. You know, they made the big move, got Khalil Mack. He's paying off on the defense, but here's the problem. They still don't have a quarterback. Could you imagine if you took Dak Prescott and put him on the Bears? Um, that might could happen if we keep fucking around and not signing. Well, that's true. But I'm just saying that if you look at that, Allen you know, Williams. If you look at that, people are like, "Oh, well, you know, let, let's just let Dak walk." I, I, it pissed me off. Allen Williams, what's up, man? Yeah, just let Dak walk, and you know, we'll, we'll just uh, have. Uh, you know how hard it is to find a franchise quarterback? That's what I'm saying. It's like that's the hardest piece to find is a quarterback that's actually balling. So the one thing that we have, different strokes, yeah. Oh, it was different, you're right, diff, different strokes. There you go. Thank you, so man. You go, you, I had to go way back. That's why he didn't know who the Gooch was. I know, I know about different strokes. I used to watch the show all the time. You ain't that old. You must have been a little. You see, I'm old enough to watch the show. Hell, I used to watch MASH growing up. So if I watch MASH at Little House on the Prairie. You didn't watch no Little House on the Prairie. Coco's in the building. You got to get the song in. Uh Uh-oh, Coco. Hey, ladies. Okay, there we go. The ladies are Derek Young, what's up? (laughs) What's up, Coco? Coco, I hear that you might want to come to a a, a game party. Is is that true? Is that true? All right. As long as you ain't got the Covan, okay? We don't want to be like the Jets where they got to send everybody. What is Covan? <laughs> Covan. What the hell is Covan? <laughs> See, Mark trying to remix shit. What is Covan? That's better than Chinese <laughs> virus. Okay? Right, right. Hey, hey ladies, hey, it's we, called we, the we try, Covan. Hey, 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 hey. He said, what you got? I got that Covan. <laughs> hey, hey, we, we try to dress it up a little bit here, okay? What up, Dave? You know? Um, but, uh, 
it just drives me crazy because people say, oh, well, you know, let, let's just, you know, we got receivers. Let's just trade all of them and get a defense. Well, the reality is, is if you're bringing somebody in right now, it's not going to really change the team that much. No. You really need the guys that are here to step up and do better than what we did. Now, you and I, you, you were discussing uh, E2 saying that it, it's part of it's the scheme and the players not fitting uh, the scheme. A oh. lot of it is. Yeah. And, and it may be. Yeah, see, we, we try to step things up in here. I appreciate. I appreciate. Let, let me make sure I make this clear that I appreciate everything that you guys do, helping out the channel and stuff. Um, and if you do want to get any of the Joe Boo merchandise and stuff, Mojo Two capitalize. Mojo Two will get you twenty percent off. If you're a channel member, you actually get twenty five percent off. Um, and I'll put that link back in the description as well. So you know, so you see, I'm wearing don't, uh, spread the mojo and nothing else. Okay, how, how about how about we do that for the NFL? That we spread the mojo and nothing else because I want a full season. Um, well, Jesse, well, we, today was the you, first day that the Titans didn't have a test. I was uh, say, you were talking about a full season, and the Titans keep messing up. But it's not just the Titans. The Jets had somebody yesterday, and there was a rumor about somebody on Washington having, at least that was from a Crystal, might, Crystal May. Uh -oh. just been a With a $10 holo. We had to double up on that. We had to do a, the DJ remix there. <laughs> that one for yeah, Crystal. Man. That, that one wasn't as smooth as one that I would do. But let, let me do the remixes. Anyway, back to the program. So uh, what were we saying, Mark? <laughs> okay, so now that I've alienated all of the trolls up in here, mm. Tyron Smith, if you hadn't heard, is um, being shut down for the season. Um, somebody had asked earlier if, um, if it was his – or the team's idea on that one, you know, if it's his decision. I think it was uh, the medical staff. The medical staff, basically. <laughs> and here's the thing: you don't play play around with the neck, okay? You don't play around with the neck. Um, apparently, he's going to get a surgery next week. They think that the prognosis for it is good, and that he'll be back, you know, next year. And hopefully, I, I heard something about some of the issues with his back may also be caused partially by what's going on with his neck. Yeah, because your neck and your back is connected via your spinal cord. So wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that the neck bone's connected to the backbone? Yes. And the backbone's connected to the tailbone? Yes. And the tailbone's connected to the hip bone? Yes. Is that what you said? Oh, okay. All right. Joe. What's up, Joe? Joe DeMazzi. Okay, so we are in a bit of a bind. Kyle. You're an inspiration, E2. Oh, shit. Let me. He says you're an inspiration. Salute. Okay. I ain't seen that. Kyle in the. Where you been at, Kyle? So, he, we're, we're in a bit of a fix right now on the offensive line. I, I'm not going to lie. Losing both of your tackles and your center, who was coming in for losing your center, kind of hurts. It does. And then, and then it's like injury after injury after injury after injury. But again, it's no excuse because guess what? Every team has injuries right now. Everybody does. Now, uh, well, I told y'all, I told, I told you guys at the beginning of the season. I told you guys in the off season when we were prepping and doing uh, oh, wait, all this. Wait, 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 Sheila, 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 Biden. How you doing, Sheila? But okay. I, I, I told you guys. Shout in the out, off season, Sheila. I said, I said, look. Whoever wins the Super Bowl might not be the best team. It just might be the healthiest team. Well, yeah, and, and this is where at least this is good. Okay, here's the thing. Here's a couple things that are going for us, okay? <clears throat> we've lost a lot of players. We know we've lost, you know, Lyle Collins and Tyron Smith this season. That, that sucks. That sucks. We know we lost Blake Jarwin for the season. But we are getting some guys back. Alan Williams, thank you very much. For another Super Bowl. I had chance. to let a Dak hit. You, you, you know what? Alan? It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't. You, you know they live to hate on that. You, 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 you know, it, it's it's crazy when you you think about the hate for Dak. It used to be, oh well, Dak Prescott, he's a dink and dunker and everything else. You know, he can't get the ball downfield. Now we're breaking records. Oh, it's empty yards and stuff. And you know, he's got too many picks. It's like you know. Oh, okay, what? I got you, Kyle. Kyle, I watched all the videos. Just say, I don't say. Uh, okay, say yeah, nothing. 
Oh, okay. Tierra. 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 Yo, no, Tyler. Okay. I love Tyler. Here, here, I love Tyler. Hey, did you see? I, I said, I said from, I said from Jump Street. I was only, I was only comfortable with Joe Looney doing that because he's done it before. We but know you know what? what though? Looney Here's do. the thing, though. But Tyler's not bad. He he went right in there and slid right in. He he. he wait. He slid right he in. He slid right in. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies <laughs> night. <laughs> oh, Mark. See? See, that's why we're friends. See, because you. <laughs> Damn the man cutting it. <laughs> oh, boy. See, we have fun up in here. You know what? Oh, that, that, my <laughs> God. <laughs> we have fun hold up on, in here. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Actually, okay, so here's the thing. Hold on, I had a thought. I was, oh, oh, I was Lordy. trying to say something. Oh, God, I completely lost track. Um, That's about I got him, Chris. So, Taylor Badass. So so it's Tyler Badish. Um, badass. That, that Wisconsin Badger. Let me tell you something. Wisconsin is, is good at three things. What's that? Cheese, milk, and bread in offensive linemen. Okay. All right. Well, here's 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 where I look at. Okay, steel. Okay, understand. Okay. Understand. Steel, it, Let me tell you something about steel, and I've been talking about this before. Steel is an undrafted free rookie. agent. I know that's he's an undrafted yeah. guy. No so experience. you're asking you're asking a guy with no NFL experience to come in, and the first game that you ever play, Aaron Donald, Howard Floyd with the Whoa. twenty dollar holla. What's up, man? Oh man. Hold on, let me finish. Um, hold on, I'll get his name. Howard, actually, you get to double down. Yeah. Show me the money! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mark on a roll tonight. God damn. Oh, 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 no, no. Hey, okay, Mark, I see. E2, E2, every time you come in here, doesn't it change? It does. Every week, it's like, damn, what's his name? What's his name? It, don't even be, it don't even be that long. Uh, yeah. Like, it literally be like four days. I'm like, damn. But but it's getting cool. But, but don't you feel like you're in a real studio? I do. You know, we got the sound system now. When okay. you first put that up, it was legit. No, man. But but see, if the fans could see what I'm looking at, I got four screens in you front of me. You know, I feel me. special because I've been around since you first started building your lockers. Like yeah. When you had one damn locker, and that hey. was the one that you're sitting at right there. Well, the reason why I am able to do this stuff is because of people Juan like Cruz. Juan Cruz here. And you guys watching, hitting the thumbs up, subscribing. All that stuff helps, and we put it back into this, so that way we can bring you more and more stuff that hopefully is enjoyable. Um, so, anywho, like I was saying, um, I was talking about uh, um, Terrence Badish. Steele. Terrence Steele. And Badish. And Badish, yeah. So, first, first I'm going to get Terrence Steele out the way. Okay. So, I think that... <laughs> That's what the defenders have been doing. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. But, look, the good thing about okay. the good thing about Steele, there's two, there's two positives. One, he ain't Chaz Green. Remember, Chaz Green was a third-round pick. You're talking about a guy that's coming in. He to me, when I look at him, I, I I don't look at what everybody else is looking at. Everybody's looking at, oh, he's getting dominated. Yes, of course he's gonna get dominated by the best defensive lineman in the league. You wouldn't expect anything less than that. But you also have to understand that with his game experience, it's helping his confidence. Mm -hmm. It's helping him get better. So by the time next year comes, yeah, whenever we need that backup, he could come right in and play well. Brandon Knight. Brandon Knight. You got experience. Was an undrafted free agent last year. Mm -hmm. Nobody thought and Brandon anything. Knight, okay, hold well, on, nobody Brandon thought Knight anything. Will be playing no, for Tyron on, Smith. Nobody thought that. It, yeah, he will be. But nobody thought anything about Brandon Knight last year. When he came in this year, he had he had those games under his belt. He learned from last season. He got a, a chance to bulk up even more, mm -hmm. and now he's he's a he's a ba a brawler in there now. I, I think wanna... that Terrence Steele is going to be all right. And and the, and the coaching staff is thinking the same way I'm thinking right now. That's why you got to let them get their bumps and bruises. It's just like it's yeah. just like when Dak started. You, you got to learn. You're not going to learn and get better if you don't get game experience. True on that one. I ain't going to lie on that one. Well, you you know, um, Terrence Steele probably will be starting, I believe, this weekend on the right. Um, as of right now, but you know they they like to make changes at the last. They minute. do. Uh, you know you got Zach. Well, Cam Irvin might come back. Cam in Irvin he, was was beginning back. to work out, but you know they I don't think that he's ready quite yet. And that's the thing where they rushed 
you know, Tyron Smith back, you know, and, yeah. and, and you got Van Der Esch who was in pads yesterday. Don't rush him. And it's kind of like, you know what? Don't rush just, him. Just take your time on him. You know, here's the good thing, at least for the Cowboys and for all those bandwagon fans that mm. literally once you lose, uh, you know, a quarter, they're already gone. You know, like I said, I don't need those guys. I, I'm tired of dealing with those, you know, ones that'll be here. Uh, you know, with all the cowboy paraphernalia, yeah, man, I'm a ride and die cowboy fan. Only when they win it, okay, or only in good times. See, that's when my my daddy taught me something. What to go you? back to it? What he my, you know, my dad said I'll loan money to anybody. He said because one or two things will happen. One. They will pay you the money back. Oh, the Jets players just said they 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 tested negative. Okay, themselves. good. They will pay you back, in which case you know you got somebody you can trust. Or two, they won't pay you back and you won't see them. Oh. And that's how it is like with these fair weather fans to, to me. You know, when it's good times, you know, it's like some of the women that you date. Mm. You know, my, my wife, I, I love my wife. Uh-oh. I've messed up, and my wife has put a foot in my ass Damn. so far Ooh. that literally I was kicked in the next week. Ooh. And then she came in the next week and kicked me right back Damn. to last week. But that's, you know, and that's why it's see, but, but see, but you know, but let me finish my statement. Oh, go ahead. She she put the fear of God in me. Oh, but she said we're gonna fix this. We're gonna fix this. And see, that's a real relationship because it's not one of those women that run away at the first sign of trouble, okay? Because, you know, I, I, I dress, if you see me out in public, if you see me out in public, you, you see my hair is crazy. So somebody said. You me see me with, like, paint-colored clothes. You see me with the red truck and all that stuff, right? And most people will look at you, Galen Miller. Yeah. Yeah. What happens is people look at you and they say, oh, he ain't worth nothing. So he ain't worth my time. But if somebody comes up to you and carries on a conversation, Kathy Green in the building. you know they care about you, the individual, as opposed to a status symbol. And that's the kind of people you want, the ones that are there through the bad times. I'm going to tell you, we could complain about women all the time, but I'm telling you, we need women. They balance us out. We, we, we wouldn't be the men we are today without women. They are our ribs. Well, being that guy, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard keeping having, having that foot up your, your behind, but that's the best kind of woman to have. Exactly. If you've got one of those fair weather women, you're screwed, man. You're screwed because uh, once things go downhill, when, when, when you got money, you got lots of friends. <laughs> when you don't, they don't come around. Mm -hmm. Hey, actually, I should get, that, get, get a little sample of that one too, shouldn't I? Yeah. 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 You got money, you got lots of friends. When you don't, they don't come around. They don't. And so I think the Cowboys are going to get back on the money side of things. The good thing for the Cowboys is, yes, we got We're a lot. playing of, against a broke leg ass Giants team. And, and not, not to say that it's a give me. I'm not going to, because that is the Super Bowl. If you listen to that cold piss guy. Oh, oh, God. It, my, his channel is turned into Mark Holmes all the time, every single day. Because when they mention your name, Mark, it's instant clicks. Is, is that what it is? Yeah. I mean, to, to literally put me in the title every day. They, they put you in the title day. because you're the trending guy on to, on when it comes to um, this trending. whole YouTube thing. You're the trending guy on YouTube. That's the last thing I am is trending. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm always behind the trends. Man. What I mean by trending, by like you're a recommended individual when it comes to this football. So when it if you look at the Cowboys website, right, it's Cowboys, Law Nation, Vosh Lombardi, and you. All the, uh, recommended. recommended. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I, I hear you. I hear you. Okay. And I looked at where I was recommended all the way at the damn bottom. At least you're on the list. I'm on the list. I'm just at the bottom. But it's all good, though. All right. So I believe that because we have the next four weeks the easiest schedule in the NF of L. In the NF of L? The NF of L. <laughs> yeah. I, I got that from the interweb. And, 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, the interweb. Kid Mega in the building. Um, yeah, you know we've got um the Giants or the Midgets, we should say, right? Yeah. Then we've got is it Washington or is the Cardinals next? The Cardinals. Cardinals. Monday night. Now, now see, it's funny because Chris Wise. Because a lot of people are like, "Oh, the Cardinals, man, they're really good." Because they, they are good. They, uh, they're two and two. I don't. So when you look at the record, right? You look at who you play. Appreciate it, the Cowboys. Well, 
you know, one of their wins is against a team that's two and two. Mm, okay. And one of their other wins is against a team that's one and three. Mm. So, so when you look at <laughs> so, so when you say about the Browns, they were three and one. Yeah, they're three and one. But they also played Washington. They played us. They played all sucky teams because we suck too. Well, they got. Um, let, let me make sure I get this straight. Okay, so the Cardinals. Let me pull this up. You know what helps us <laughs> is we're 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 able to score points on offense. Okay, so so let let, let me go through the Cardinals. They beat the 49ers 24-20. The, the same 49ers. Without, without Garoppolo, though. Garopp, that was the first game of the season. Garopp- oh, he was in there? The yeah. First? Okay, okay. But that was the one where everybody <laughs> said, oh, they beat. But, but I said that I think the 49ers are coming back downhill. And remember, didn't they just lose to? Uh, the Eagles. The Eagles? Mm-hmm. Okay. With C.J. Beathard, though. Which they should have. They messed up. They should have put C.J. Beathard in there to begin with. They probably would have won the game. If they uh-huh. would have had CJ in All there. Right, so so here's you know, they, they beat they beat the 49ers, they beat the Washington team, they lost to the Lions. And the Lion and Matt Patricia about to be out of there. Okay, right. And they lost to the Panthers the last two weeks. That's the two losses they've had. So are you still saying that they're a good team? Their win is against Washington I'm and looking the 49ers. At, I'm looking at what they have on offense with who the hell on this team. If we got beat by Odell Beckham and, and Jarvis Landry like that, what the hell you think D-Hop going to do to us I if think, we keep playing like this? But their defense isn't that good, isn't that great. Okay. Yeah, because, they, oh, that's right, they don't have Calais uh, no more. Calais is with Seattle now. Uh. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to Who go. is on the defensive line now? Uh, right, exactly. The Cardinals. E- exactly. Because Calais is gone. Calais, he been way oh, gone. Oh, he, he's with Calais, the Ravens. With the Ravens he went from probably. Jacksonville after a couple of years to Baltimore, so it's way, 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 way behind. So, yeah. So I'm not going to say that the Cardinals are a great team. I, I'm sorry. I'm, that's not to say they can't beat us. I, that, let, let me, let we me, got beat by the Browns. Let, let, let me be clear on that. We got beat by the Browns. Let me hold on. Let me. Not be, only did we get beat, but we got our asses handed to us. And maybe this is where guys realize we're not just the Dallas Cowboys. We got to show the f up because I think the Dallas Cowboys. I think they're gonna play some better because the, they're embarrassed. Th- thank you. Because I think, unfortunately, because we are the Dallas Cowboys, a lot of times we have the attitude that we're the Dallas Cowboys, all we got to do is show up. Yeah. And I think you start believing all that hype. You heard all that preseason stuff. Cowboys, they're a Super Bowl favorite. You know, look at all the players they have. You know, Jalen Lola's Smith. Lola's in the building. Lola? I didn't get Lola. No, you didn't. Oh, this is night. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Oh, yeah, I love that song. Okay. Um, so I think they will actually come up off the mat here. Um, and if the coach doesn't realize that his ass is on the hot seat, yeah, let him lose to the Giants and look real, because the Giants have got what three touchdowns on the season. Yeah, they don't have Barkley, and they got Jason Garrett. We have what fifteen? <laughs> huh? They haven't scored twenty points yet this season in a game. And 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 Danny Dimes is their leading rush. <laughs> so if if the Cowboys quarterback come out and rush. let's say. The Giants win 32-28 or something shit like that. What? You don't think somebody gonna, not going to get fired? Daniel Hatton? Well, Daniel, you know, I, I hear what you're saying, what, about, but Russell Wilson also has had, uh, what, 14 touchdown passes in the first three games, which was an NFL record. So, you know, Russell Wilson is just a freak of nature, okay? Yeah. Um, Philadelphia's are literally bragging on Wentz. Oh, my God. You know what? I, I, I'm glad you said something about the Philadelphia Eagles because, you know, all week, <laughs> you, you, you know who's been pounding <laughs> his chest all week long. Oh. God. He's been texting the hell out of me. You know, today he was like, how's it feel to be down there in the standings in the division? Down there? Down. We're only a half a game behind. If we okay. win okay. this week, we'll be in first place. Like, but, 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 he's but, delirious. But now, now this this was just. That's your boy, Mark. Uh, wait, wait. Way, King Ding Bad here, and I hope everybody's just... having a great Monday. I hope you guys are doing well. What a tough, tough, tough loss. 
the Eagles had yesterday. Not only did they have a tough loss, but we had to see the Cowboys had that impossible come from behind victory yesterday that just really made this loss to the Rams sting even more. And <laughs> and after two weeks, it is it is fair to wonder what the hell is going on with this team. What the hell? Because they've looked horrible in so many facets. Mm -hmm. Now, before I get into the whole thing, I got to say, for uh, channel members tonight... Oh, ah, shut up, Billy. Shut, you know what? Philly. <laughs> it's funny because what a difference a win makes for somebody. Because literally, he was, you know, all, all week, oh, man, three games, man. We're going we to – if Carson wants to turn around three games, he's going to get benched. Man, it, it, and just literally, literally, he was, you know, just tearing the team apart. Now, they're the greatest thing to slice bread. But you know what's amazing is Carson Wentz's numbers right now are worse than his rookie year. Oh. Seriously. You talk about somebody that's regressed. Remember when Dak Prescott went from 2016 to 2017? They kept talking about how Dak's regressed. That mother humper says 2017 every year has gone downhill. Right. He is literally off a cliff. Now, you, you want to hear something that's kind of amazing? You know, you, Did you watch the game last night? Yeah, I did. I did. I live streamed. Okay. Oh, I, okay. I didn't realize that. I, I fell asleep on the couch myself but and woke up and seeing Nick Foles win the game. Oh, and somebody in my live stream asked me. They were like, um, I don't know oh, why they up up, there's Sarah. Oh, this is oh, what a night. What? <laughs> they, they, look, they asked me in my live stream last night, when is Mark going to cut his hair? I was like, why are you asking me? Ask Mark. You know, Carlos, Carlos, Carlos Fisher. Fisher. Thank you. Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, well, here's the thing about the hair, though. Okay, so my wife, I, I was... Upstairs while she was working and stuff, and I was just sitting there. She was looking at me. I was like, She's "What?" Like, hey, I was like, "What?" Hey, Zaddy. She said, "You know, because it's <laughs> it's one of these love hate things with my hair." She's like, "You know, it's not looking bad." And I'm like, you "Okay." Like Wolverine now. She was like, and I was kind of because it's funny because it's long enough now that I can do different things. Be with like, it. I'm I can Hugh start Jackman. doing tricks with it. Um, Did you say tricks, Mark? The tricks, yeah. See, I can like make yeah, it. Yeah, you like look, look, oh, now. Hold it, look. I, I, With your little I was thinking, little I was thinking, I'm putting a little, little gr grease here little... and getting a, pr you know, I can do like prints. Why don't you just braid that shit? <laughs> Throw a well, shell in it. Well, that's where she's like, maybe you ought to twist it or something. Throw a shell in it. <laughs> okay. And so I was like, yeah, I'm going to let it grow a little bit. You know, this is my COVID hair. I cut my locks off and you grow your hair. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, all right, all right. So, uh, Sarah, nice to see you up in here. C a COVID fro, keep it going. Yeah, you know, until, until we get through this COVID. Coven, Cova, Coven, Coven, <laughs> you're remixing Cova, Coven. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let it grow because I'm gonna keep it. You know, it, the other thing about it too, it's kind of cool, is because there's so yeah. much hair there, you don't notice as much of the gray. She said, Prince, <laughs> that's what I was saying. Yeah. If I go ahead and get a little, little curl up in here and yeah. just, yeah, get, get, get to, I can, with the, ooh, hey, I can do the so glow, hold on, hold on, raspberry beret. <laughs> <laughs> True story on that one. Okay, you know, oh, see, I'm a little older than you. Now you got to right? wear a blouse. When Purple Rain came out, that was my rookie, I mean, freshman year in college. And Prince, of course, was God, okay? Yeah. And Can't it was just like, eyes. you know, everything Prince did. And see, back then, I, I, had my I had my two turntables, and I had my mixer and stuff in mm -hmm. college and everything, right? Mm -hmm. And so I would go, there used to be a place downtown called 12 Inch. <laughs> Which you could buy the twelve inch singles and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So when Prince's album came, next came, album came out after uh, Purple Rain. It was um, God under the chair. No, not under the chair. What, what was the name of that album? Shit. The you one, just huh? it's the one that he did with Shalimar and him, right? No, it was the one you just um, Raspberry Beret and all that was. Yeah, on. yeah I forgot the name of it. Though, but... I can't remember the name of the album, but I went out and bought it. I took it home. Is I that the one where he was sitting on the unicorn? Yeah, no, I mean, but it was weird because <laughs> with the, on the cover, because I remember seeing, I don't know if that was the second album or his uh, third one, but I don't know. I gotta go. Back but no, back. but but when I played it, I was like, 
is this some damn Beatles shit or something? Because that's what it reminded me yeah, of. Like some yeah. be- I was like, how you go from Purple Rain to Raspberry Beret? Beret. <laughs> raspberry? What the fuck? Raspberry Beret? What the hell is that? I was mad. I was like, I spent $15 for this shit. And you know, in college, $15 was a lot of money I'm back then. You, shit. You're like, shit, I could have got some oodles and noodles in a package. Oodles and noodles? You could have had a sweet party for $15, $15 back then, man. Shit. Shoot, you could have got you yourself. You should have had a sweet party and charged them like. You could have uh, got two 24 packs of Bush beer, okay? <laughs> All right? And had a big old sweet party. Yeah, I used to drink Paisley that. Paisley Park. Was it Paisley Park? I can't remember. Yeah, I used to drink that in uh, uh, JMU. Man, uh, the uh, well, uh, well, listen, that was considered the high class beer, okay? All right? Bush beer? Yeah. Because we I had some men. Because we would actually go to Walmart sometimes to get Wiedermans. <laughs> Bro, you taking me back, man. Like I re- Wiedermann's beer. Oh, that in Mad Dog 2020. Oh, yeah, and Mad- I tell you, With Mad that Dog brown 2020. Bag, baby. Look, 2020 is like Mad Dog I'm this telling year. you. I'm telling you. It was a foreshadowing because that stuff would give you the worst drunk. But anyway. I, I mean, I, why, I is it, why is it that the cheap stuff gets you drunk faster than the. But it gives you the worst the, kind of drunk, man. I know. It's like. It's, it's that stuff where you feel like hangover. your eyeballs falling out and stuff, yeah. man. Oh. Ooh. Oh, college. You take college, back. yeah. You broke it trying to get get messed up, man. Oh, man. But anyway, Prince was sexy and freaky. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of yeah, like me. Yeah. I'm not gonna, uh-huh. I, As a man, I'm not going to say he was sexy, but he was definitely a freak. Yeah, like me. But And he was like 4'11". Did you know that he used he to wore wear heels? He wore platform shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he did. Ew. Well, well, so, well, well, so does Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> back to our defense. I'm sorry, oh, I digress. See, Morris so you got to understand. You got to understand that when I played football, I, I did a lot of special teams. Okay. Yeah. See, players today. When, when I hear Antoine, I mean not Antoine, uh, Xavier Woods. I'm getting my wood cr- crossed up. <laughs> <laughs> to Xavier tonight, Woods Mark. talking about you know you, nobody gives a hundred percent. I'm, I'm gonna ask, do, do you think Dak Prescott gives a hundred percent every play? Yeah. Do you well, think he tries to? I mean, you, if you don't, I you're going to get killed. I think killed. he worded it wrong. I think what he meant to say was you're not going to you're not going to win every battle. That's what he should have said. Not not that you're not giving max nah, effort. that mm, I'm sorry. He you know, they're talking about like the guys on the backside and everything else. He's not See, and that's part of the problem because too many times I see somebody engaged with a, a running back or something and everybody else is standing around. You need to be 11 hats on the ball because you might knock the ball loose. You remember what I mentioned to you right before we got online about that um, that Marinelli magic? <laughs> Marinelli preached the ball, the ball, the ball. Mike Nolan doesn't preach the Big, ball, the ball, oh, the ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big Diz 83, you would have blown me off the line? Oh. Shut up. Shit. Shit. Challenge. You, you know what, dog? With my bad knees, you wouldn't still blow me off the line, man. Yeah, come on, man. You, 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 don't know, you don't know. I know it's hard to believe, but see, I'm 55 come tomorrow. I'm an old ass, I'm an old ass man. Happy but in my birthday. young days, dude. Happy birthday! I, oh no, stop! I shouldn't even. I didn't even mean to put that out there. But um, <laughs> back in my days, I used to could do the cross country ta- trail, three point one miles in nineteen minutes. Damn! I ran a four six forty at two hundred and twenty five pounds. Mm. I mean, back then, two hundred twenty five pounds in the eighties was actually mm. pretty big. You know, back then. I mean, that's when Dave Butts was like the first three hundred pound player in the NFL. That's, that's what I ran at my fastest. What's that? Four six. Four six. Okay. All right. I could never get faster than that. I'm like, damn it. When yeah. I see these guys doing four three, I'm like, how? Yeah. Well, it's, it, they're bred a little different. Than it, but it was different. I was a linebacker, so I didn't need to be that fast. Well, I was a nose guard. I know that's pretty fast for that. I, that, that was the thing because yeah. I was on the smaller side. It was the speed to be able to maneuver around the guys. Yeah. You know, I get that double team. If I'm up high, I'm, psh, I'm back there in the secondary. I'm, trying to I'm tell playing you. safety from nose guard to safety because I'm getting blown out the hole. But anyway, <clears throat> I think the defense will actually stand up. Now, if you don't think that the Giants aren't going to be up for this game, this is their Super Bowl. They want to carry Jason Garrett off on the shoulder. Oh, definitely, Dave. Definitely a big game. Do it, Morrison. So, this team better be ready. But I think they're going to step up. So, all right. So, we've got 
the Giants, we got the Cardinals, we got Washington who can't score, who's benched their quarterback. But they defensive line though. Yeah, but you know, yeah, you talk about our offensive line being just you know. Are you saying that their off their defensive line is better than uh, the all world Aaron Donald and crew? Uh, no. Okay. Not collectively. Okay. And I don't think that their offense can do what the Rams' offense did. No. Okay. Well, they did change quarterbacks, so we'll see what Kyle Allen can do. The, uh, who? Kyle Allen. Who? Kyle Allen. Who? Kyle Allen. <laughs> exactly. He was um, uh, Cam Newton's backup in uh, Carolina. And yeah. Ron Rivera brought him down to Washington. Okay. All right. And then we have the Philadelphia. Oh, thank you, Karen. Appreciate it. Then we have the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, I, I mentioned the game last night. How crazy is it that Nick Foles has more touchdown passes in two games than Carson Wentz has? Uh, what? <laughs> Carson Wentz has four TD passes. Nick no, Foles, I heard what you said. That's why I was like. Nick Foles has five. Mm. That goes to show you how bad. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> <laughs> so here's where the eagles for all you I, I don't see too many eagle trolls up in here now it's kind of quiet in here um did, did i did i scare everybody away when i when i started out and said, um so you were the saying the Eagles, Deshaun Jackson out again. All Sean Jeffries out again. But did you see what the Eagles are doing with um Jalen Hurts? They're trying to like emulate that whole Saints thing that they did with Yeah, but it, it, it hasn't really been working that much though. Yeah. Uh, they, they've been throwing him in there, but it ain't it, I've not seen a whole lot of success from it yet. So they've got Pittsburgh this weekend. Mm. And then they got Baltimore next weekend. Ooh, that could okay. easily be two losses back to back. Now, what I said going now, I can see them playing pretty well against the uh, Steelers. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Um, what I said before the Cleveland game was talking about these games. I said if we can go four and one, we'd be in great shape. The one thing, and I hate, and I, did, I, I didn't think the Browns would be the one we'd lose to. No, not at all. We looked at the schedule and off season was like, oh yeah, that's that's definitely a W. Yeah, but that's it's, that's why we watch the games. Yeah. Because you never know what's going to happen. You, you never know. And you're going to have times where you get you know teams that you shouldn't lose to, and you're going to have teams that you shouldn't beat that you're going to beat too. Yeah. That's the nature of the beast. Now, you know an interesting thing, um, you know, now that Bill O'Brien has been fired by the <laughs> – I haven't seen Eastside Harold since that <laughs> – Oh, he, you know, actually he was partying because they, they, they realized he's just not the guy. For years, you know, you, you've seen him let Deshaun Watson get beat to hell. Literally. And you look at it and say, why? And I mean, when, when you ended up trading away Hopkins, and I thought that would be the last straw. But like Will he, Fuller he, went, is there he got into it with J.J. Watt, and that was kind of like, okay, that, that's it, you're done. Yeah. But the, here's what's amazing to me, and this makes you realize how good Bill Belichick is. Bill Belichick's coaching tree is shit. Yeah. It lets you know that it was all him. I mean, you had well. Josh McDaniels is all right. No, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let's go through the list. Romeo Cornell, he was with the Texans and the Browns. Not a good coach, but I think he's all right. Def, de, de Defensive coordinator, yes. yes, he's all right. D coordinator, but he was twenty eight and fifty five. All right, next. Um, Josh McDaniels, remember, you know, he he's he, office. He's a, he's an OC. Eleven and seventeen had players revolt in Denver. Okay, but they also had quarterback issues too. Uh, he was the one who wanted Tim Tebow. Oh. Okay. Right. Bill O'Brien, okay, which we know just got fired. Yeah. Um, he actually was. He actually is the best of the lot because he actually got a playoff so win. So the thing about Bill O'Brien, though, Bill O'Brien tries to be too much like Bill Belichick, but he's not. He's not. That's the problem. Okay. How about Matt Patricia? I was just going to say that. Um, he's he, on the hot seat right now, yeah, 10 and 25. He about to he, him, him about to be gone. Um, Brian, Brian Flores? He was with Miami. Yeah. Six and 14. Is he still with Miami? He's still with Miami. And you got, of course, you can't forget 
the man genius, as Tony Soprano said. Eric Mangini. Mm. 33 and 47. Shit. What is he doing? Now? And, huh? Uh, he? He's on the talking shows. He's a talking head. Yeah, so he's not even coaching. And then we've got, here come the judge. Here come the judge. Jeez. Owen four. Joe Judge. Joe Judge. Which, which ironically is going to lose his job to uh, Jason Garrett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to uh, Carrot Top. That 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 would stink. You know, if you are him, I I I almost feel bad for him on that one. Did somebody say? Oh, never mind. I didn't even see. Huh? No, no, no. Talk about the guy. The only reason I got Jason Garrett because Derek has no experience in the NFL world. He doesn't. No, he doesn't. Really no, doesn't. That's why they got Jason Garrett. He has some experience. Well, which 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 goes to show you that Jason Garrett is going to be the coach soon, because you know when they when they show their practices and stuff, it's all Jason Garrett. Well, you know, Michael Anthony had it, it had a great video from Rashid, hmm. and and they're already turning on Jason Garrett. The fans are already like, why the hell we got you? You remember when they hired Jason Garrett? They were like, thank you. We like, like him. They're like, oh, man, we got Jason Garrett. We got Jason Garrett. Oh, man. They were so happy. You know, because that, they saw the little bit of success that he did with Dallas. And I'm like, it's a different team. And it's like, yeah, y'all, y'all got problems. Well, so. to, J- to Jason Garrett's credit, though, not to defend him. You're going to give him credit? Okay. Th- yeah, just a little bit. Um, you you got to let's let's be honest. Let's, let's look at the elephant in the room. Their offensive line is Ooh. worse than ours. Okay, they have a, a young quarterback that needs more than everything to work right for it to work right. Their for GM him. has been terrible at drafting. Yeah, yeah, their their drafting sucks. They lost Saquon Barkley, and they're just they're just looking for things. I mean, their their only weapon is Evan Ingram right now. Mm-hmm. And Danny Dimes is broke. At, yeah. Well, right. But but that's because Dak is a better quarterback than Daniel Jones, obviously. Oh, but we got Cowboy fans say they take Daniel Jones over Dak. And whoever said that need to not be a Cowboy fan ever. It's like, again. smack yourself. Smack, smack yourself. Smack, smack, and yourself. smack yourself again, please. All right, so do we get a W this weekend? Yes. Are you sure about that? Because I'm going to tell you this. I'm Look, let me. I'm, you want me to break it down? Cause break I'm it, gonna, break I'm it a, down. I'm going to give you early content to my video that I'm doing oh, tomorrow. Oh, 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 early content. Early content. Shout out to my channel members. Um, but anywho, uh, this is the thing. First of all, I'm just going to say, before I say how we're going to beat them, I'm going to say if you don't beat them, oh, then Lord. we might as well go ahead and talk draft talk for the rest of the season. I'm sick of this shit. Oh, I'm turning <laughs> over all types of tables. Michael is going to flip a table gently. <laughs> no, it won't be gently. No, it won't be gently. <laughs> no. All right. Now, now to the meat. Now to the meat. The meat. Now we got the bread out the way. Let's get the meat. All right. So, what kind of meat? Uh, ham, turkey, however you want it. Okay. Provolone cheese. Uh, yeah. I can't have Swiss. You can have Swiss. Or have a pepper jack. I ooh, like it spicy. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you tried that horseradish cheese, too? No, I haven't. Oh my Is God! You put that over some roast beef with some au jus and some grilled onions, oh. and put it on a French roll. Oh, oh. man! And then that you dipped it. And then you oh man! Oh, that shit, shit is good. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, anyhow, we're hungry. Anyhow, um, so yeah, so. Oh, uh, James, I agree with you. I would take Romeo Cornell as a defense score. He, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. And I def- don't, I don't think, I don't think that Jason Garrett ain't gonna come in here. With, with, like he owned the place. <laughs> he gonna come in here like you know what. <laughs> <laughs> no coach is going to sit here and be like, oh, I deserve to be fired. You know, that was great that you got rid of me. No, he, he's he's got a chip on his shoulder. He's going to come in here. He's going to try to play a game. But understand that Jason Garrett is Jason Garrett. The fact that we know Jason Garrett is Jason Garrett. And Jason Garrett knows the problems that we have on defense. So what he's going to do, he's going to come in here with his little game plan and say, this is how we're going to play with no adjustments. We know that the defense is not going to play well, and that's what they think. So they're just going to try to run the ball with Devontae Freeman because that mm-hmm. worked for the Browns. We got ran on by some random guy named Dearness Johnson. Do you know who that is? No. Yeah, but see, uh, the Browns but, The Browns were a running team. The Browns were right. run, they, they, right. they, they, they could I'm actually say, run the ball you, well. What I'm saying to you is that's what Jason Garrett's going to think because, remember, Jason Garrett always wait, wait, thinks Jason he's Jason Garrett the, thinks? Yeah, he thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. 
That's why That's why he's like, oh, well, if we come in there and just play the way that we play. You know they love to run the ball. You know Jason Garrett loves to run the ball. So he's going to go in there. He's going to run that damn thing with Devontae Freeman, and he's going to try to hit his head on the wall. So what we need to do is we need to get a pole and, 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 and Antoine Woods up in there and just clog that thing up and stop him from running. Now, this is the thing. I think we're actually going to get some interceptions in this game because Danny Dimes will throw you. You know, if you can't get some against Danny Dimes. He threw an interception. He threw an <laughs> interception. That's what's going to happen. If you, can't, if you can't get some against Danny Dimes, now, then, then it's just like smack yourself. Right. Um, they're gonna if you if you if you frustrate him and get him out that pocket and have him running around like a chicken with his head cut off, he's gonna throw you. He's gonna fumble. <laughs> Why? Whoa, Britney Spears production. <laughs> Wait, <what? laughs> if the Cowboys defense was a condo company, each family would have four or five more kids. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I don't know who blocked that person. Damn. I, I don't. Oh, wow. I, I don't Damn. know what the hell is going on. Very gently. In, in, in other words, they're saying that they, they can't hold water. <laughs> okay. Jesus Christ. Danny Dimes will throw for 500. No, no I am that. Danny I am. Danny. Okay, no. Understand that that uh, Faker Mayfield didn't throw for 200 yards. No. They ran the football. Yeah. But, but, again, we know the Giants' run game is not as strong as the Browns. Nowhere near. Could you imagine Garrett listening to that music? Okay. Um, correct my phone type mistakes. Tell me the correct. We know that our offense, if our offense can, if our offensive line can hold up their defensive line and, and get Dak a, a minimum of, th get sacked three times, like a minimum, I think we'll be fine because Dak will be able to air that thing out and they won't be able to stop us. Because, again. I don't think they're going to be able to stop us regardless. No, they're not. I'm just saying. But but what I'm saying is because we don't have Tyron Smith and Lyle Collins in there, I, um, our offensive line's got to hold up for Dak Prescott. That's my biggest thing. If our offensive line can hold up, we're going to win this game with no problem. I say we win by three touchdowns. Um. I got to remember. So. The oh, well, if he's bashing, then get him out of here then. Bashing. Moderators handle that. Um, they lost to Pittsburgh 26 16. Um, they lost to the Bears 17 13. And that was before Nick Foles' magic. They got crushed by San Francisco 36 9. And they uh, lost to the Rams 17 9. So offensively, they've got nine, they got nine, they got 13, and they got 16. That's not a great offensive performance. So thinking that they're going to be able to do stuff, even with our defense, if they, we we shouldn't give up more than twenty four, which would be a win right now. That's half of what we give up to the Bears. Um, but I think uh, we'll be able to score on them at will. I, I just don't see them being able to hold up against our defense. Um, I mean, excuse me, their defense being to hold up against our offense. And when you see what our guys are doing, it, it's amazing. You remember, uh, I, I got to play this clip because this is where I love just messing with my buddy. You, you know, Philly 500, we kid because we love. Yeah. But I remember this. I fire, I fire Howie. Howie. Fucking, Fucking fire. fire. No, no. Stupid oh, man! What an what idiot. idiot! He's not the only one. What an what idiot! idiot. Dallas has more than two to go, but we but don't, don't need a receiver. receiver. Are you, are you kidding, kidding me? me? Here it comes. Here it comes. I don't want just Jeff, 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 uh, okay, I, I could kill the rest of that. I, I fire this. I mean, how he's oh. got me stupid. <laughs> Still, he, he won't stop. What stop. are you doing? Stop, you Philly. Just let stop. Dallas... Okay, Justin Jefferson. Oh my God, what has he, he done lately? Justin Jefferson. You don't know in Minnesota. Justin Jefferson. He's the 12th leading receiver in the NFL right now. He's got 400 yards, and he didn't start the first week. Oh, wow. <laughs> Justin Jefferson is, I mean, you know, we, we're focusing on CeeDee Lamb. 
Yeah. Now he doesn't have a touchdown, Victor but he's Westfall. got over he's got four hundred and nine yards. Oh, okay. Justin Jefferson all of a sudden is like Randy Moss. <laughs> okay. So when Philly five hundred says, I don't want Justin Jefferson, he's ass. Goes to show you Philly don't know too much, does he? No. Well, he's my boy though. Were you expecting him to know? Well, he's still my boy. Shane. Brick house. Cause she's a brick house. Hey, yeah, Mark, that you all going way back. I, I, I miss, I miss, I really miss doing. Danny, tailgates. you actually want? Well, talk to talk to your 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 leader over there because he thought he was ass, Danny. Yeah, he was. You know, I don't want. No, now did he say he's ass? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta but, say it with his accent. His but ass. He was there after CD. That's the amazing thing. But that's the thing. You just don't know. You don't know what you don't know, and that's where everybody's talking about. You Jerry know, Judy is all right too. Oh yeah, definitely. Um, He's a good fit over there with the. But Broncos. this is where we have fans that are like, "Oh, we should just tank for Trevor Lawrence." You said, "Where's Jalen Rager?" <laughs> He's ass. He's ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't they get it? They didn't. I thought they got a Jefferson wide receiver too. Well, it wasn't uh, Justin it was, Jefferson. It was, just, it no, was another. No, no, no. Um, well, they're still ass. They're still ass. Okay, and Carson Wentz is definitely throwing the lawn care furniture. Um, 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 you got to um, throw um, it um, gently, though. Oh, Lordy. Well, it's it's more like fumble it to him. Okay, <laughs> he's not walking to him. He's fumble it to fumble. him. Fumble. Um, but I think we can get on a roll. I think we it, we we should get on a roll. That were you tapping on something? Yeah, that's me. Oh, okay. I was like, what, what, what's that coming from? Because you know, I haven't got all the bugs out the machine. There's still a few ghosts. I wonder up. what that doom doom was the last time. Did you ever find out what that was? Mm, I think my uh, USB thing wasn't plugged all the way in there, and so it was like, you know, that was getting some vibrations or something. Oh. I don't know. Or maybe it was Joe Boo messing with it. I don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe it was a fly. The Pence fly. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody <laughs> said black flies matter. Somebody <laughs> <laughs> that stuff was crazy. That I, was I just I, I just have never seen anything like that. Oh my before. gosh. Shout out to that fly. Though. All right. So what's your prediction for the score? Um Will the Giants get over twenty points? No. If they get over twenty four points, um I think our defense coordinator needs to be fired. Yeah. Cause they're ass. I'm gonna tell you this though. Um I'll be honest with you. If 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 the, our offensive linemen that that are in there playing, that if they could come in there mm-hmm. and they could hold up for Dak, and Dak gets hit a minimum of time, I think that Dak's just gonna throw all over the place. So, um, our running game probably isn't gonna be as strong because we don't have Tyron Smith there. But although I say our that, running game hasn't been that strong all, all along. Yeah. Zeke well, has only been well, three point nine yards. The ball on the ground. If you don't put the ball on the ground no more, I think yeah, we'll and that's what. Right. Oh, we need to run the ball. It's like you guys talking about turnovers. Yeah. We've had a lot of fumbles. Yeah, if we if we if we stop beating our own self, I think we'll be fine. I, I don't see. I see us winning by at least two touchdowns. Um, we better. Um, we we need a win in the worst way. Uh, the fan base. You look at you look at this team. defense. They're tired. You heard Antoine Woods. You see, he's like, and he don't normally talk like that in interviews. Well, you can see the frustration it, in these it, guys. Well, good. You know what? You need to be kept up at night to realize how pathetic and putrid. You, but you, but you know you, what? Wait, wait, wait. You, you see these guys up here? You see these guys up here? Yeah. Ed Tutal Jones, Charlie Blood Waters, Dupree. you know, um, uh, the man's up there? Huh? Bud Dupree's up there? No, no. This is a 77 count. Oh, 77. Okay. But you, you think that any of those guys ever said, you know, we, we don't give full effort? Do you think those guys ever let somebody gash them for nine yards and 49 points? Well, you know, it's, it's a different age, man. These kids ain't the same. Like I said, that's where, you know, these kids today expect everything to be served up to them. See, you know, they, they, they don't want to go outside because it's too hot. Uh, you, you understand? Uh, I want you, you to remember, understand. We talked about this. Remember those hills? No, wait, 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 wait. wait. I want you, you, you people out there, you kids out there that say, "Oh, we don't want to go outside and play because it's too hot." We went out outside to play because it was cooler outside. Understand? We had a galvanized metal roof that was um, silver, painted silver paint. That was the porch roof that was outside my window. So I had a fan that's blowing in the hot air off the roof. That thing heated up all summer, all day long. It's just circulating hot air. Okay? Hot air. Nita Taylor, you got to hit her twice with that. Yeah. Okay.
Okay. So we went outside to play because it was cooler. We didn't have no play, PlayStation or Game Boy or or any video. Video hell, we only had three damn channels on TV. Right. You know, we didn't have all these laser tag. You know what we played? We played Dirt Wars. Did you have to? Uh, we would get clumps of dirt and we would throw them. We throw them real high so when they hit the ground, they. Yeah. And those are hand grenades, okay? And don't mess up and get hit by one of those. And, and they let, had like little pieces of rocks like, little rock yeah, in it. Yeah. Ah, shit. Little then you got the, ah, goddamn. You got the bruises and stuff. That, that's the kind of stuff we had to do. Hide and seek. Well, I know I'm a little younger than you, Mark, but even in the 80s, man, growing up in. Um, in uh, Indiana, mm-hmm. we the same thing. We would go outside and play seven o'clock in the morning. Wouldn't come back in the house till the street lights come on. You better no, in, you, no, you better be eat, in the house when that street lights come. We come in to eat and get some water. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's right. You, you had water. We had Kool Aid. We had Kool Aid too. <laughs> come on now, you know we had okay. some Kool Aid. But but you know you know no, what color? What color? Hey, what flavor is that? That's red. But, <laughs> and, and and because you, we didn't have a whole lot, you know, Mama would make a stretch. You know, supposed to make uh-huh. a half gallon, but she put a gallon yeah, of water. Remember, in. Yeah, I remember when food <laughs> stamps were actually food stamps. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Or, or what was the uh, the other stamp? Uh, K and J uh, stamps were. You got the green stamps and yes. stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. See, and, and you know, t- and you know what else we used to do? What's that? Because back in the day, you had soda bottles. Right. And you had to put a deposit on. Man, we, we scoured the neighborhood looking for bottles to take back to the store. And get, yeah. man, and, and get, you know, you get 50 cents. You know how much candy you could get oh, for 50 yeah. cents? Because I was young enough that penny we candy. That peanut listen, brittle. we had penny candy. You get two pieces of candy for a penny. Yeah, penny candy. Oh my God! Uh, see, y'all see you. You I, guys I, don't understand. I know that. about. I was. I'm. I, y'all I, don't understand this stuff. I see, y'all spoil. So, understand. I lived through the Dallas Cowboys being one in fifteen. The only victory being against the Washington football franchise. Mm. Okay, so I've, I've seen bad football with the Cowboys struggle. But even in that season, I did not waver. I was mad as hell. But I still was a Cowboy fan. I don't know if you had these growing up in your area, but I remember as a kid, uh, outside of the block of government cheese that wouldn't melt on a grilled cheese sandwich, that was another thing that I never understood. But but we used to get, like, <laughs> peanut butter. We used to get peanut butter. You know how, like, peanut butter come in a Jiffy can? You yeah. just twist mm-hmm. the top? No, we used to get it in a, in a jar, like a, like a, a can. That you had to open with a can opener. And you didn't even know how you knew it was peanut butter. It was like a gray tin can. And it had a picture of a peanut on the side that said peanut butter. (laughs) Now, that's government issue. Uh, I didn't get that one. Yeah. (laughs) So that that struggle, baby. All right. Okay. That struggle. Yeah. Well, I've been, I I feel the struggle. And the Cowboys, you know, we government cheese right now. And that's what we're doing right now, struggling. We we government cheese (laughs) to make a grilled cheese sandwich. But better days are ahead for us. You know, don't, don't lose the faith. In your mind here, before we get ready to get up out of here, are you uh, penny still ex- chocolate chip cookies? Yeah, they were so cheap. Are you still excited about Mike McCarthy as our head coach? So I I, I like Mike McCarthy. I think that he's the one. I'm gonna tell you this: Mike McCarthy, his first year with Green Bay, went four and twelve. Mm-hmm. So, um, you got to understand that right now he's in a situation, and that was without a pandemic, and that was without a pandemic. So you got to understand that, like he's still learning his team, he's still trying to figure things out. I think that you give him next off season and this and that. I'm not judging this this coaching staff for real, literally. Maybe Mike Nolan, because that you know you're coming in doing different stuff that that you shouldn't be. But outside of that, as far as his coaching staff goes, I'm gonna withhold judgment until next season. Tierra, no one is disrespecting my loyalty to Mark. Just your moderating. What what did I do this time? I, I'm I'm not really moderating. I think that might be to somebody else. Okay. Um. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, DT, you remember how? And and Troy Aikman. Funny thing is, Troy Aikman didn't even get that win in that year. Troy Aikman, we looked at and said, man, it was Steve Walsh and, Tor- and Troy Aikman. We weren't even sure Troy Aikman was the guy, and that was literally rock bottom. So you understand, you know, you guys are a little spoiled here. I'm not, and, and look, and then everybody talk about this whole, oh, well, Dak's going to be gone. Dak's this. Yo, do you oh know how lucky God. you were to get Dak? We almost had Paxton Lynch in here. Do you know how bad that would have been? No, 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 no. no. Paxton Lynch, guys. How about Johnny Manziel? Johnny Manziel. No, 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 Christian Hacken. Who was the other guy there? Connor. No, 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 
What's the other dude? Connor. Oh, I forgot. Uh, exactly. You can't even remember his name. That's that's how bad that is. They wanted wins. They did want wins. They did want wins. Okay, but but see, here's the but, thing. But hold on, but let me finish though. We we you talk about Dak this Dak that, but you talk about the old days with Ryan Leaf and and oh my and Cunningham God. and uh, what's the other dude? Um. Uh, Bledsoe, um, Testaverde, all those guys that we had mm. that didn't fit the bill. Mm. You know how long it takes for you to get a franchise quarterback? The Cowboys got lucky twice. They got Tony Romo that lucked up and got him. If it wasn't for Quincy Carter getting kicked out of training camp that year, Tony Romo will be with the Denver Broncos. So why is everybody mad at uh, North Carolina's biggest Cowboy fan? As a moderator, what, something what, happened. Uh, I don't know. I, I'm, we missed I'm, it. I'm, we sorry. were talking. I, I, I Connor tried. Cook, yes. Connor, Connor Cook, Cook, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he he wasn't doing any cooking. He was doing more burning he, than he cooking. He was getting burnt. Um, okay, hypothetically, he uh, you tried know. to he he timed someone out for no reason. Mark, we cool now. We, well, we're pissed at his ass. Okay. <laughs> Okay. All right. Don't be pissed at him because sometimes I tell you, sometimes you go through and you try and hit one person, and you hit another one by accident because this stuff goes by there quick. Okay. All right. Let's say, you know, because this is what I tried to explain to somebody earlier because they say, you know what? Let's get Trevor Lawrence. So hypothetically, what? let's, oh, no, no, just, just, just let, let me humor them for a second here. So you've got an asset in Dak Prescott that you paid nothing for. To let him walk and get nothing back in, in compensation is ridiculous. Wouldn't you agree on that one? Where we sit right now, as bad as his team is, is seventh pick. He's probably going to go number one. Oh, he is going to go number okay? one. Okay. So that means you're going to need to move. You, you Think about how much Washington move, had to pay to move up Yeah. to get RG3. Think about what the Bears gave up just to move one spot to get Trubisky. Right. So you're talking about three or four number ones to move all the way up there. So if your idea is, do you honestly think Tra- that to he get can a play? guy that you don't know whether he's going to work out or not? Yeah, but but you know what you got with Dak, and Dak is not even he's not even he still can get better. He's not done. Unlike wrong. Carson Wentz, has been going downhill since 2017. But here's the thing, uh, Victor. Uh, Mike then you're talking up. about Victor taking Victor Westfall said, "What's up?" Okay. Then you're talking about taking. You know, three or four number one picks, those should be knockout players on your roster. Right. So why would you think that you're going to be a better team by getting rid of Dak and bringing in Trevor Lawrence, who's going to be a rookie? Okay. And, Again, these are people that live in a fantasy world, and that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't. Yes, when we also had Bill Parcells as a coach with Quincy Carter. So, yeah. And we actually had a loaded team there, too, as well. But, yeah. you know, so I'll, I'll put that out there. And we also had a defense there, okay? Because here's the thing that people don't seem to understand. What's that? No, I, I said if you take Dak Prescott and Pat Mahomes, you know what the difference is? What's that? A defense right now. Kansas City's defense has put up uh, – has only allowed 70 points. We've given up 146 points. With five of our former defensive players. Uh, that, that's what really hurts. Uh, Let me say that again. With five, five of, of our, our former defensive, defensive players, players, which goes to show and, you. And, and none of them get paid which, like d which, which goes to show <laughs> okay. you. Which goes to show you. Well, Anthony Hitchens does. but He's not making D-Law money. He's close to it. I didn't think he was getting that much, but okay. He, he's making what uh, – He's 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 on a level with Jalen Smith is. Well, Jalen Smith's only making ten. Yeah. Okay, D Law's making twenty. Well, linebackers don't make, you know, it's rare for a linebacker to make that much money. Taco had two sacks. Two sacks and a fumble or a fumble recovery. So this is the thing. In thirty six. Uh... <laughs> What, like, but you look at the players. Okay, like, Anthony Hitch just signed a five-year, $45 million contract. That's only $9 million a year. That's what I said. It's, it's basically that's not, Smith. That's not uh, – right. But, I said but linebackers don't get what D-Law gets. Okay. You know what I mean, that's not the same type of – Okay, okay. If you look at the the market, yeah. you know, we're talking about crab cakes here. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll say this much. <laughs> the five guys that are probably on Kansas City together probably make about what D Law's making. Probably together. You're right. So think about that. You're right. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, Morris Claiborne is definitely getting the vegetable. 
the, the veteran minimum. The veteran men, yeah. Yeah, and they are, and, and they got rings. But they got rings. Well, except for Taco, but yeah. So it's the same situation. You look at the players that we have on this team. You look at Xavier Woods. You look at um, uh, Jordan Lewis and those guys, and we, we sit here and talk about how bad they're playing. But yet – We've seen them play better. What? Damn, the man got it. That's right. If you don't like what Mark Holmes has to say about it, kiss his shiny metal ass. Wow. Wow. Damn. What the hell's going on out here? I missed a lot in the chat. I wasn't even watching the chat. I was just, I just saw that. I was like, kiss my shiny. Wow. Okay. I missed it. That like, wow. Wow. Wow is right. You, you look at the, the defensive players that we have. Our, our players don't suck. That's why I said I, I for Mike Nolan to come in here and say, "Oh, we're just going to run the three four, it, it just it just doesn't make sense. It's dumb. If you were to just leave them to the way that they play, we would have more results. And I and I blame Nolan for that. I do. I really do. Because you're going to come in here and you be like, "Oh, three four. There's only two guys on this defense that that have experience playing three four. Everybody else is just like." Uh, Tamaro Crawford had a little bit, and uh, D Law did in college, but yeah, not that much. But that was a while, yeah, a long that, time ago. D Law has been having his hand in the dirt all college, so ever since Griffin as well. Yeah. So yeah, you, you got to play to your guys' strengths, and that's not. That's not. That's well, not and it takes it takes time, and there's no real off season. Yeah. So uh, you know, I, that's where I'm going to say that they they but, have a chance to get better as the season but goes on. You just you just proved my point. With no off season, it's it, it's even more so for you to say, "Fuck it, we're just gonna keep what you've been doing with the four three, and then as we get the personnel to switch over, because our linebackers are not like the, you look at the Packers, you look at um, the Saints. Mm-hmm. Those two teams run three four defenses. They're outside. Their linebackers, yeah, are basically defensive linemen in the four three. Jalen ain't big like that. Jalen ain't going head to head with no offensive line. Digital Cowboy, you're right. Gridiron y- Yuki is uh he's cool people. And unlike, say, an Eagle troll, even though his 49ers are playing good, you know, he he won't come in and troll you. But yeah, he's good people. We got a lot of good people here. And that's one of the reasons why uh the moderators will time out people for, you know, being assholes. We you know, we're family here. Even the Eagle fans that are trolls, you know, we're still kind of like a family. So, you know, if you really want to be an ass, there's plenty of places that you could be ass with, you know, ass. like like ass with the like five hundred, <laughs> you know, but Justin Jefferson, he's ass. But um, he, this is another thing that actually proves the point too, because people say don't pay Dak Prescott because you need to spend that money on the defense. And you look at the guys that are on Kansas City's defense that they brought in. You know, they have made trades for Khalil Mack and things like that. They've gotten guys that were, you know. Other people's players. I, I mean, Tyron Matthew might be the most expensive. Probably so. Yeah. But even he, you know, even he went to Houston, and he was with, of course, the Cardinals. So he was kind of going around and so on. So, but he's the they, centerpiece of. The he game. is now right. But what I'm saying is though, is they kind of went around. They got a piece here, a piece here that fits their system, and that's where Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. When you see Bill Belichick go out and sign a big name free agent or sign a big ass contract, he doesn't. Outside of Stephon Gilmore, I'm right? Like, I can't name. Oh well. Patrick Chung, those two, yeah, those, those two. are the only two. But very rarely, you know, and you don't see them make major moves like that money-wise. And the other thing that they do, of course, is they draft well, and when guys get ready to get paid, they let them go so they get those compensatory picks. How crazy is it that they win the Super Bowl and then turn around and have 12 picks the next year? When you have a coaching staff that's dynamic like that, you can do that. Yeah, but they're only dynamic under – but Bill everybody, try, everybody tries to emulate what the, the Patriots do. Let's be honest with you: the Patriots are are the Patriots. No, let, no other team. Let, can let's do call that. it. Let's call it what it is: that Bill Belichick is a freaking genius. Yeah, and he is able to adapt to almost anything. The fact that he could lose Tom Brady and the refs are on his and side. then turn around with Cam Newton. Had they had Cam Newton the other night, they win that game. Yeah, they win that game. So he can evolve to any situation. Not any coach can. Not, or there's no coach. I didn't think it was going to be a good fit for Cam because the, of how Shit. outrageous he is. But he he's nope. he's, he, he's, it. he's right up in there. He's loving it. Yeah, he slid right in there. And he slid right in there, guys. <laughs> no problem. Oh, I'm, I'm Danny. I will always be a Roger Staubach fan more than anything else. Sometimes you have he, to slide and, right and, and I'll tell you why you have to be a Roger Staubach fan more than Troy Aikman because. 
even though Roger Staubach is in his 70s, he's old and all that, he's still one of the nicest people that you'll ever meet. Troy Aikman is ass. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's, I'm sorry. Troy Aikman is just not a, a nice guy. Okay. Wait, my bad, Brittany. Didn't he play ball with E2? If so, my bad. Who? Who played ball with E2? Spend the money. So back to the thing about, you know, like I said, people said, don't pay Dak Prescott. You know, just sign Andy Dalton for next year. Take the money for Dak Prescott and get yourself a defense. And I'm kind of like, when has buying a defense ever worked? It doesn't. I remember you, when you the look. remember when the Giants in twenty sixteen they they spent like two hundred fifty million dollars on the defense. That was back when they had um, they had they got it was pretty good in twenty sixteen. That was the last time they beat us twice. I said last time they beat us at all, but then the next year it was ass. It was ass. It was ass. Well, let's talk about that dynamic defense that the Eagles had when when they had um. You mean the dream team? Prince of Mukamara. Oh. They had OC Uranora. They had uh Jason Justin Tuck, mm-hmm. Jason Pierre Paul. They had um uh what's his name? Uh I'm talking about the Giants, I'm sorry. That was, uh, yeah, I the Giants. You, yeah. Giants. We yeah. got that. But but the Giants, when they had when they had that defense, it was like It was a good defense. Yeah. Right now? Not so much. And then, and then, and then, what I meant to say about the Eagles when when Chip Kelly was there and he went and got all those Oregon Ducks and he had Kiko Alonso and um, what's what's the dude that's married to um, uh, married to uh, Kerry Washington? Oh, you're talking about Namdi. Namdi Absawa, yeah. That's yeah. He was yeah. He stole money from the that Eagles. so-called dream team. I, 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 it didn't I, work the, out. Nam, Namdi's Namdi's cool people. He actually does a lot in the community. He's actually acting in stuff right now. Acting and directing. I want to act. Um, you know, I, and, I need to be and, on somebody's television. And he's got Carrie Washington. Yeah. Carrie Washington. Oh um, my God. I'm trying to think. She I, is Jesus. Like I see her on TV, I'd be like, I, I got I got a hat over here autographed by a Raider hat autographed by him, and an Eagle hat. So mm. I got him at both. <laughs> so yeah, Namdi got him. Namdi. But you know, see, he's. One, but I tell you what, and, and, and he's got all the money that he made. He's another one of those guys. Yeah. He's still driving like an old ass Maxima, you know, with a twenty five million dollar contract. What happened to um, uh, Alfred Morris? Uh, Did he retire? He I think he's retired right now. I think I, I think somebody brought him in for a workout, but I don't think he's with anybody right now. So he's just sitting around waiting. Yeah. Mm. Kind of like Wade Phillips. They asked him, "What are you doing these days? Watching and waiting." He's not coming back to the Cowboys. You know what? She's fine. Who's fine? Oh, Carrie Washington. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Oh yeah. She's Carrie fine. Washington, bro. I was... <laughs> and Megan Good. <laughs> Can't forget Woodson like him. Shout All right, out to so, the ladies. So it, it, it's it's get, we, we're kind of losing it up in here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We, we we dreaming about all these women and everything else out here when we got these wonderful ones that are right here I in front of us. I want to say one more thing before we end the stream. Uh huh. Shout out to Mark Holmes. Happy birthday, big dog. Uh, don't worry. See, when you get over fifty, you don't want to think about birthdays because you realize that you've got less birthdays behind you than in front of you. Are you happy that you're still here? Yeah, but I don't know for how much longer. Hey, but you look. Shh. We had this conversation, Mark. You know. I'm, I'm, I'm just seeing all, you know, every day you look at, you look online and see people, this guy. I skate with people that's older than you that look like they're my age. Mm-hmm. So you take care of your body, man. Mm-hmm. It's going to take care of you. Shh, too late. <laughs> <laughs> it's been you. Hey, but it's a blessing. It, it's it's a blessing, it, bro. It's a blessing, bro. You still here? You still here? God has blessed you to still be here on this earth. And happy birthday to you, man. Uh, that's not till tomorrow. Bro. So everybody man. take shots for Mark tonight. No. I honestly, I hate birthdays. I, I really do. Why? I just don't like them. See, man. Mark Mark doesn't talk about his birthday because, and he slipped and said it. See, he, but because you know what happens on Facebook, everybody happy birthday, happy. Yeah. Oh, like ah, oh, shit. It is like, and and don't not reply to somebody. He's like that mother humper. He didn't even say thank you for happy birthday. It's just like, oh god, I hate birthdays. And reminded me how old my ass is. But you should be you know, proud. That I remember, you made listen, it. Listen, as a kid, I remember my dad was like 45. I was like, my dad's close to death, man. He ain't going to be here much longer. <laughs> and it's like, I'm 55. It's like, I'm close to death. I ain't going to be here much longer. <sighs> it's hard, man. It's hard. 
Yeah. Can you believe that you're exactly 20 years older than me? Yeah, I told you you could be my son. All right. Huh? So that's what I said. And you're five years younger than me. That's why I said he's 20 years older than me. Thank you for reminding me that I'm an old fart. Okay. All right. I, I'm I'm literally turning into that. You see, you saw what happened at the beginning of the show, right? Huh? You, you know what I did at the beginning of the show, right? No. I'm that old guy who's standing on the front porch. Get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> shaking it, shaking that old and crepit finger. Get off finger. my lawn. <laughs> shaking that old ass That's finger. That's exactly <laughs> what I did to start the show. All you Dallas Cowboy bandwagon <laughs> fans, get off my channel. <laughs> You should do that tomorrow. You should do that tomorrow morning for your birthday. Tomorrow morning when you do your video, you should do like you should come over here and start shaking and grab your grab oh, your coffee. Kathy Green's in here. Uh oh. She been here. Oh, okay. I didn't see. I'm sorry. I, did I did I get her? Did I get her? No, I cho told okay. you earlier, but you were in the middle of a talk. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, actually, it's not Joe Boo's birthday. Joe Boo's birthday is August 15th, which is National Rum Day. <laughs> Okay. Seriously, National Rum Day. That's Joe Boo's birthday. Okay. Uh, don't forget, E2 Blue ran a five three one forty as a rotund middle linebacker. Facts. Britney Spears production. Who is Britney Spears production? I don't know who the hell that is. Leave Britney alone. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> Why are you defending? No, I'm just saying. You, you, you never saw that video. That was one of the most watched videos ever on YouTube, okay? Yeah. This woman screaming about, leave Britney alone. I did. I actually did a parody of that about Zeke Elliott when he was getting suspended leave and all that. Zeke leave Zeke alone. That was lost by the channel. That, that was actually I a really good I remember that video. I actually remember that <laughs> Leave video. Zeke alone. <laughs> leave him alone. <laughs> Isn't he human? <laughs> okay, all right. So we're going to get Zeke. Oh, my God. At least TMZ hasn't been able to get a whole lot on us this year. Well, were, At least that much to, has changed. They were trying to file a suit against him, too. Yeah, well, everybody is. So what you got going on your channel, man? Uh, I'm going to be doing my video in the morning. Um, the uh, keys to victory to the New York Giants. And uh, my channel members, uh, get ready for our live stream tomorrow. Shout out to Kathy saying it's been a good show. Thank you very much. Um yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Well, I, I don't know what to fix this weekend. It's supposed to rain on Sunday. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Right Who? Okay, so we play the Giants, so you should do like uh Well, Mike has his, his uh, chopped cheese sandwiches, which actually- Those was, were was, actually good. Those were really good. I was thinking about black and blue burgers. I would make those. You make those too. Yeah. Try a variant of them with the grilled onions and the jalapeno peppers on there. Nice and spicy burgers. Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. Yeah. They have blue cheese in the burgers. That's why they're black and blue. Oh. Are you trying to over cheese? Over cheese? Mm -hmm. cheese. Because the Giants are cheesy. <laughs> you cheesy motherfucker. Because the Giants are cheesy. <laughs> oh, man. It's all good fun. But Britney Spears production says wings, it's all good fun. I come into your live, buddy. I only tease you because I like you. Uh, ball player, shirt buddy, shit buddy. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, right. I, he, he, he apparently comes to your live streams too. Or he or she. I don't know if it's a. It, I, I don't, I don't, I don't. It, it, it's all love. See, that's what I try and tell you too. Because, see, if I don't cut on you, make fun of you, then you don't mean jack to me. You're not worth my time so to try always, and think we, of something. We always what? joke on each other. Uh, do you choke on me? Really? Yeah. I say stuff about you. Behind my back? No. Right in your face. Uh, okay. Mike J. All right. So anyway, um, I've been going through, I've been, been you know, when right, I'm working Mike, on here and stuff, uh, we're going to be starting doing some more drawings. We'll do another drawing on Monday for all the people that have done Super Chats and stuff. I got all you guys uh, in there today. Dak Prescott has left the building. He is headed to uh, Jose, uh, or, I mean Juan Cruz. Well, I mean, Juan Cruz. I, I was mean, like, what? <laughs> Listen, man, you know what I used to do at JMU? I was a wedge buster. See, th these kids today don't understand what a wedge is, do they? Do, do, do they know what a wedge is these days since the NFL's outlawed it? Nah, because you can't do it anymore. Right. You know why? Because of what it did to me. CTE, baby. I'm serious. I want you to... Here, here, this, but weren't you this, always this, dyslexic, though? 
Yeah, but it didn't help it so any. What? I, yeah, I didn't didn't get rid of dyslexia, but it made me crazy. Because, see, here's what I want you guys today to understand. See, you don't understand how brutal football was. We had what was known as the wedge. You get the big fat guys, okay? They would get there on the kickoff together, literally lock arms there together and run up field. Five of them. The runner, receiver, would end up running behind them. You're already in there. My job was to run downfield full speed, that 4640, running full speed and hit the wedge. If you don't think that causes brain damage, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then wham blocks too. Wham. Oh, no, oh, that was the worst one. Oh my god. And, and, and you know, cut blocks were legal too. Yeah. You know, we used to do high lows. Yeah. Where you have one guy engage you high, and the other guy take your legs out from under you. Ooh, you know, it was like yeah. It was straight man. out of any given Sunday. Oh there. man, it's like yeah, we blew his knee out. Yeah. And them 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 two a days, man. Two days with a special team full pad and practice in between, oh too. Oh, my God. So, yeah, it, it was rough. Talk about so, being tired. But anyway, um, I have – I don't know which one I'm going to do, but this one right here, check this out. Who that is? Hall of Famer, Rayfield Wright. I want that one. Hall of Famer. See, I can, I can let this one go because I've got a mini Joe Boo one that's signed by Rayfield Wright, too. Rayfield Wright, and I got Billy Joe Dupree in there, so we'll give one of those away. Mark, do barbecue pulled chicken sandwiches. We could do pulled chicken. We'll do that another day. But I think I might do the black and blue burgers. Do those. Another day we'll do some uh, sausages. Some, you know, nice sausages with the grilled onions and peppers. Some sausage sandwiches. Uh, Ooh. Night. Huh? And, of course, against the Eagles, we'll do cheesesteaks. Yeah. Monday night. Oh, because we got the Cardinals. On we got the Cardinals night. on that Monday night. Yeah. All right, so E2, you got your stuff coming tomorrow morning. Yes. Me, I'm just hoping that I wake up tomorrow morning. But I appreciate everybody being here. We sent out, like I was saying, um, Juan Cruz, your racks are all in the mail. They're gone, along with your Dak Prescott shirt. Uh, I got some more racks that people have done. Um, I'll probably end up getting Damn. Nothing but the best. He's that, getting one of the racks, too. So that's going out uh, Johnny, on Monday. Johnny, that's what I was explaining the whole time. It didn't make sense why Mike Nolan and Scott is playing a 3-4 when we have 4-3 personnel. I was explaining that the whole time, but oh, I don't understand it. I almost forgot this little gem here that we had. I don't know if you remember this from last year. Shout out to your wife, uh, Cowboys Up North. Happy birthday to her. I don't know if you remember this from uh, Redskins camp. <laughs> okay, so, so I'm, I'm here. here. We found, we found more Cowboys Cowboy fans. fans. We actually we found, found, we finally found, found the one, one giant, giant fan here. here. They said they, 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 they fucking thought they, they, they needed to get it together. You heard it here first, guys. Rasheed, that's for you, buddy. At least she is not here tonight. Actually, I'm hoping Eli continues, continues to play. Don't say that you Oh, oh boy. All right. All right. So we're getting out of here. All right. So I remember that day. You remember that day? I remember that. That was day a good too. day. We had we had fun. We, out we had fun. We, and we that, that, fun that was before there. COVID. But um, we have a lot of shot glasses for all the new members that have joined. Um, when you get your shot glass or your beer glass or even your Joe Boo merchandise, if you end up getting something from Teespring and all that, take a picture and send it to me. So that way I can add you to, of course, the shot glass thing. Okay? What, why are you tapping on the mic? It's, it's a habit. I'm sorry. Because uh, you, you know I get it in my ear. Oh, my I hear it's like, duh, 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 duh. I'm bad. like, what, what, somebody at the door? My bad. Somebody at the door? All right. So get your shot glass ready. I appreciate all you guys being here. So let's do this.
Thank you guys for being here. Hopefully better days are ahead of us, and hopefully we burn that house of the giants down. Make sure you're safe out there, cover up, and make sure you keep spreading the mojo. See you later. The party's over. They say that all good things must end. Call it the night. The party's over. And tomorrow and next year, start the same old thing again. Crown Royal. Okay. Ooh. I think I'm out of crown. So tonight, oh. <laughs>